Hey, 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 friends. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. I just want to experiment. Do you want to experiment with me a bit? <laughs> Say hello when you are joining me in. And when you are on a replay, you also say hello. I have a, a lot of experiments in my head that I do want to do with you. And of course, as always, remember the project that I've made. I've made that. Um, what did I do? I've made the uh, uh, the tray that I actually do. Uh, he hello, Miss Karen. Here we go. Miss Karen is saying hello. She's the first one. So um, I do have um, a little bit of a napkin left. I do have some book pages that I did not use. I guess I was folding. Um, I was folding uh, my book pages. Hello, Miss Carrie. Hello, hello. So I do have this. I do have all different kind of books. I have a sending paper. I've got it all. I mean, all it's literally something that I... Hello, Miss Rebecca. Thank you for the stars, Miss Carrie. Oh, my goodness. So, see, let me see if I can actually, if this is the way it's going to, Facebook is going to show you the hearts. Can it, will it show? Let's see. Because I am backwards now, so I do not know if it, Facebook is going to show it this way. Here we go. Hello, Miss Candy. Now, I guess I have to face you because it's not happening. And then I do have a bunny that I most likely didn't finish. And I was actually thinking that we may finish it together. I do not know which way I, I like it. But what I did like in this bunny that I did not finish, most likely since last year, the little peekaboo of the book pages. So what I'm thinking, hello, Miss Judy. Hello, hello. My friends are joining. Make sure to sprinkle. Make sure to tag the friends so we'll know. You're making a clay bunnies. Oh my gosh, guys. Yesterday in the, in the, with the sassies, we were sculpting bunnies because we're going to be pouring a plaster of Paris over them. So look at this. Miss Carrie is the sassy. She just got herself, I guess, hooked on those bunnies. To tell you the truth, if I would have have, um, if I would have have more clay, I would have most likely do it. So, so let me just tell you what my plan is. Okay. What will you do with this? Because I did like this, and I obviously I am going to cover, and I actually do like the butterfly. I did find a butterfly on different napkin. We may actually figure out, but um, let's just let's just forget about this side <laughs> for now. So my plan is to do a crackle to the de decoupage to age and to do a lot of other things, okay? So are you ready? So I'm thinking because I do have a brand new napkin that I could have potentially used, but you know, because I do love this napkin and it's a pretty good chunk of it left, I thought, hello, Miss Tammy. I thought that I'm going to decoupage. You see, I have a leftovers of something over here, but that's okay. We'll just go over this. Hello, Miss Susan. Finally, you got notification. So I thought, that I am going to decoupage my napkin like right on it, like this. Because now look, if you're going to see the book pages right there, look how stinking cute is that going to be? Here we go. Look, I'm going to decoupage it. Hi, Miss Janine. Hope you're going to join us later on Tiki Taki. And then I do have plenty of um plenty of the molds that I did not use. So I do want to incorporate some of those. So this is going to be a fully recycled project so who's ready who is ready to go with me on the adventure of decoupaging i have no idea which way should i start but i'm thinking i'm going to first start with a little bit of the crackle on my bunny then we're going to do the uh, yeah miss judy's ready miss susan is ready yeah see i could have sit down but you know what i had all this already prepared in here for me to just craft here miss debbie's ready so yeah make sure you talk and just tap the screen so facebook is going to push us uh more so i promise tomorrow i'm going to sit down in the front of the camera and we're going to make something but today is just messy and all that stuff so in order for me to do the um to do the uh crackle you know the crackle how the cr crackle goes right you have to oh my gosh this is a really dry paint am i going to, no we're not going to deal with this forget well no yes we are going to deal with this hold on let me get some uh something pokey see that's why i need to be here guys because you know this is what happens i have 
No, I don't think this paint is usable, guys. <laughs> okay, whatever. I have another one. Who cares? I'll figure out this paint later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, as with every, as with every uh, crackle, we do need to get the darker background. You'd be surprised that I am not painting gold. No, I'm not, because we're going to bring the gold later, and I don't want it to over... What the heck is happening to my paints, guys? I'm over here. Hold on. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, that was not me, guys. That's a paint. <laughs> See? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly paint my um, paint my bunny, but not everywhere because I really do not need to have a gray paint anywhere. I'm just going to simply paint it just because, and I'm going to paint over this butterfly because we're going to cover this anyway. So I'm just going to do it here like that, and I'm going to quickly... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to quickly use my... I do not know, guys, where I lost my heat gun. <laughs> Hi, Miss Vicky. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my sassies are there. How's the bunny drying? Mine is not dry yet. So, hold on. I'm going to... <laughs> you heard it, right? Did you hear it? Okay, so I'm going to quickly dry this. And I'm going to repeat the same one since I have a brush already with this on the other side. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Hopefully it's going to dry. See, this one is not a good uh, heat gun. But this is mine from, um, this is the mine from, uh, what's the name? This is mine from, um, what's the name? From the epoxy. Yeah, your bunnies are drying. See, my bunnies, I got to tell you, the little ones we made are almost dry. But the big one, guys, we were so X-rated yesterday. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put a lot of the paint over here, okay? I'm going to put it right there. Not going to cover, because remember, we're going to decoupage, we're going to crackle, we're going to do it all. So I can't, I do not want to cover all. So I'm just going roughly, just simply, uh, quickly, um, what color am I using? This one is a nice color. This one is cove gray. Is it cove gray? Yeah, dove gray. I don't know if you can see it. Dove gray. Love that gray. It's like sort of the earthy colors. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now I always say is use the Elmer's glue. But you know me, I love me. Hello, Miss Janine. Jeannie, hello, hello. So I love to experiment. You know that. We already know um, that uh, we experimented. How is Mark Thomas Fizzy? Yeah, we, we will go on that page. I'll be going more often. Um, uh, Magda is actually home. We will be. Hi, Cynthia. How was your mama's birthday? How was it? Hello, Miss Cindy. Cindy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to add to the areas where I have the most of um, the most of um, color. I'm just going to add um, I'm just going to add my uh, um, matte patch. You should be using you know glue because then you're going guaranteed that you're going to have a nice crackle. But you know I'm always doing things opposite way, so I'm just going to add it there. Not going to worry really about it. And then, actually, I'm going to add it everywhere because I'm going to attack two stones at the same time. I'm adding everywhere because portion of it I will decoupage on. And then the other portion of it I will just simply paint. Did you make more? No, I did not do the carrots yet. We will do it together. No, I promise I'm not going to do it myself. I'll do it with you. So I'm just going to rip my paper and simply put my um put my um what's the name put my paper where i did not add my um when i did not add my uh colors no i don't want to go upside down so here is another one guys i still have so many things left no i will not i will make it but this bunny was just sitting here and i was supposed to make one by myself this one and just simply do the pre-recorded video because I usually experiment myself, but then I said, you know what? Hello, Miss Lisa. Hello, hello. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put maybe, I don't know. I'm just going to put it like right there a little bit. 
maybe right there a bit a little bit not a lot just 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 there just there that's it and now i am going to take a paint hello miss sarah now i'm going to paint take my chalk paint and i'm going to paint where i did not add my um book pages okay so guys <laughs> Embrace for impact. It may be ugly, but hey. And if I go over my book pages, actually, I do not mind it. And it's welcome to go. That's at least in my head. But, you know, I may regret this. <laughs> Who knows? Guys, you can win with my head. If I need to, you need to get some more books. Yes, we're going to have a lot of book pages projects. Sassies love to do the book pages. Uh, Miss Carrie found an awesome chicken that we're going to do we're going to do some mushrooms oh my gosh super excited about that okay so now what i've done was i painted some areas a little bit of my book right there i don't care a little bit i'm going to go later um i'm going to go later well look at this it looks like a kindergarten project but you know what we do not mind we hopefully i wish i added some but that's fine it's fine it's fine agnes we practice it because, you know, I always love to be your, um, to be your, um, guinea pig. So now we're on a mission, guys. Look at this. We're on a mission to dry it really good, to, to get some kind of a crackle out of that paint that we just added. It's not going to be maybe a huge one. The crackle is coming. Do you see it? I tell you, the best places to get the book uh, that you do not feel bad is uh, a Dollar Tree. Because the Dollar Tree, hello, Miss Cynthia, because the Dollar Tree, half of those books are um, political books. And um, then you don't feel as guilty of uh, using them. See, this, this, um, what's the name? This, um, What's the name of this? This um, this heat gun is not good. I gotta go find mine. No, no, no. No, I don't even get the big crackle, but that's okay. That's okay. We may actually put some little bit more of it. There is some crackle, not a lot, but you know what we're going to do? On the other side, we're most likely going to get a little bit more of, uh, because this gun is not good. some crackle. Do you see it? Not a lot, but there's some. I guess I did not add a lot of the things. So, because, hold on, because I said that I wish I added some here. So, I am going to add it here a little bit, just to the side of it, because I wish that I added a little bit more of my book pages right on it. That's fine. So, that's what I'm going to do. A little bit right there. But then I'm going to just simply cover slightly with my with my paint a little bit and then we're going to worry about it later yeah so see i'm going at it that's fine we're going to do the we're going to repeat the same process on the other side but i gotta make sure that this is all dry before we move on to the other side i have never burned good evening miss cindy i have never burned uh what's the name Never burn the book pages, and I don't think I'm going to try this. But hey, we'll just see. We're most likely going to end up, we're just going to most likely going to end up uh, breaking it in half like this. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to fold this, and then I'm going to peel this off. Not to peel this off. I'm going to use my sanding block, and I'm just going to quickly, um, you know, get this all even. And we'll see how this is going to go. Okay, so I'm just going to... Get rid of the leftover of my books. This may not actually work, but it may actually work. You never know, guys. You just never know. I do not want it to give up idea before we are done with this. Okay, so here we go. We got one side sort of finished, but we're not done with this yet because this is just the beginning. Hold on, let me just get this. Make sure that this one is dry. And I do not like what I see here. I tell you, those Dollar Tree filing things, the pedicure filers, so good. My daughter actually told me. I steal it from her. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave this side for now, let it dry. Now we're going to repeat the same situation on this side, but this time, and we're going to be smarter, guys, okay? This time I am going to put a lot of a lot of Mod Podge right there, and I'm just going to only put the books right at the bottom. And then maybe right there, but I'm going to put much more because I think my issue with the little bit of the crackle was that I did not have, hold on, I did not have enough of, um, I did not have enough of the Mod Podge on it. Because usually I use the, the glue, the school glue, but you know, <laughs> Agnes is, oh, oh, this one is going to be a huge crackle. The more glue, the thicker the crackle. So now here we don't need much because this is where the book is going to be. And we're just going to go one by one. Okay, so let me put this one on the book right there. Do you like to, what is your favorite uh, technique? Do you like to do the crackle technique? What is your favorite one? Do you like the chippy? I wanted to try chippy and crackle for this one, but I couldn't find the Vaseline. And this was why it was sitting here for the longest time. And I'm like, you know, I do not know. Don't want to look. Let's go just do it. That's it. So I'm going to put it in maybe a bit over here. Well, I like this. That's it. That's it. So this one has only on the Well, no, let's put it in the front a little bit too. <laughs> just put like a little one. Okay, right there. Like right there. So it does not look like it does not have anything. And now I am got crackle and chippy. I know these are delicate the best one. And now I'm going to take my chalk paint and with a one stroke without mixing it all up, trying not to mix a lot, I am going to paint. And I'm going to slightly paint my um paint my book pages too but I'm going to brush them anyway so they don't look that harsh. We're just going to do it. I wish I had my old glue gun. Either my husband took it for something and never brought it back. I don't know, I can't find it, guys. <laughs> this is not that I'm looking for the scissors now. I cannot find my, my uh, heat gun. That's what it was. He most likely, hello, Miss Rita, hello, hello. Okay, we are in the middle of the Big Hot Mess Express. Here we go. Okay, let's dry it now. I've been, I've seen people use the Vaseline for the crack, well, for the, for the chippy, but not for the crackle, that I didn't see. I did actually do both of them. Um, I did both of them in one of, see, now it's going to be a little bit better. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got. Much better. Still not the crackle we wanted, but I think it's the issue with the glue gun or maybe my old mud patch. Who knows? Who knows? We just gotta make it work. It is happening. Vaseline for chip. Yes, Miss Cindy, that's what I thought. Yes. I think it's the issue with my glue, I mean, with my heat gun, but that's fine. I do see some. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't want to cook my paint. Oh, see, it's here, it's doing better on the ear. See, it's happening. It's going to crackle any second. Hello, Miss Elena. Hello, hello. Oh, it's, I'm cooking the paint, guys. See, now maybe I understand why you all say my uh, my crackle is not becoming a crackle. Uh oh. Because it doesn't want to dry. Look at the, I look look what happened. Do you see this? Look what happened. It must be an old uh, pref um, for the chippy. Do you prefer using Mod Podge or Vaseline? So no, you use, uh, you, at least I use the, um, at least I use the uh, Vaseline for um, a chippy and I use usually the glue or Mod Podge, but I guess my Mod Podge must be old, but that's okay. It, for the, for the uh, crackle. That's okay, it's giving me the character, but did you see it? 
I know I've never seen that happen. It, something must be bad with my uh, must be like a bad version of my uh, mud patch. Who knows? I run usually on like four or five bottles, but that's okay. We can still make it happen. Maybe not the you know crackle that we wanted to, but that's fine. We just gotta make it. See, remember, we are experimenting. The worst thing that can happen, I would have to put this uh, thing in the water and start it all over again. But not with you. We're just going push. Because a lot of times is... See, this, look what happens. Guys, look at this. This is the strangest thing. Look. The, the, uh, the, uh, the, look. Look at the glue. Look. Do you see the glue? Do, do you see what Mod Podge just created? <laughs> They're dates on a Mod Podge. I have no idea. I have no idea how old is this Mod Podge. It was sitting in my stash. That's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have to be chippy. We, we, it, I mean, the crackle. It doesn't have to be. It's whatever it is. We're going to embrace whatever mistakes we're doing here. And this is what I wanted to tell you. Um, hold on. Let me just wipe the butt. Hello, Miss Lori. We just have to embrace it, okay? If I know, is it cra crazy? No, something is up with my eater. I don't think it's a paint. I think is uh, I think it is my uh, what's the name? I think it's the mat patch. <laughs> I yeah, I guess it's I guess I don't know. No, maybe because you know I was just uh, embrace the innovation. The innov exactly the innovation. It may not work, it may work. It may actually bring some little bit more detail, but you know, we will not know. Look at this, how how unattractive my bun is. <laughs> but that's okay. We are embracing this, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, I am going to take my the same paint that I had, and I'm just going to simply go over those areas that it's so the book does not look that starchy. I'm just going to slightly wash it all off see so the book is not still shows the book but it does not show the book hold on we go on this side too i may actually add a little bit more book to the other side you know because bubble will see we just gotta attack one thing at a time so i'm just going to literally wipe my thing off and just go all around it and i'm not it's still we're still not done because i'm going to bring the wax to this and all that stuff so we're just simply trying to make it look aged so the book is not looking as clean do you see what happens when i when i literally wipe my uh brush on a paper towel and then i go over the book pages so it looks like my bunny has uh my bunny, oops, that was a lot, guys. That was really too much, but that's okay. My bunny has a lot of the little pieces on them. I don't know if I like this, but that's, you know what? This side is actually not bad looking. Hold on, let me just get this a little bit from here. We just got to try. I mean, if we're not going to try, we would not know if we like it or not. And even if we get too much of it, not, I know, <laughs> Because you know what it is, Miss Rita? How can, can, you can't let things bother you. Because think about it. If we do not like it, there are so many things we can do about it. We, can, we may actually, we still have a napkin to decoupage. We may actually, I'm not going to lie. I do like this. I do like this. Okay, let's decoupage now for a little bit. Yeah, you just move. Because you know what it is? As I always say is, and I, I've, I, and, and you all have seen me doing this a lot of times. Things that look and not uh, too attractive as you work on it, I, I'm not going to lie. I get disappointed too, and then you feel like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? How am I going to make this work? And then all of a sudden, one little move gets you to the. Oh, see, I forgot to paint this side, guys. So hold on, let me quickly paint this. That's just only that little area. So I'm going to start to decoupage from here so we don't have to deal. Uh, I know, create the new texture. We're just learning. I mean, it's again, it's not a big deal if I do not like it. Guess tomorrow you're going to see this bunny painting one color and then we're going to go from scratch again. But you know what? Why not learn? Why not learn and why not try? What can we do? So the plan was I am going to, and I think I may actually now burn we're going to burn <laughs> it's 
if we're experimenting, we're going to experiment all the way. So I'm just adding a little bit of a Mod Podge, like right there. And then I'm going to add the pieces of my napkin to it. You never know. It maybe things will actually work themselves out so beautifully that we were like, how do we repeat this? <laughs> That's a lot of times what happens. Okay, so I'm just adding my napkin right there to the edges. Hopefully, I'm getting it right there. See what I'm doing? I'm adding the uh, the worn edges right there. And then, oh, I did not add the, I did not add the uh, Mod Podge right there. You know what, I gotta spill it right there. Cause I can, <gasps> Ooh. It and it has a pretty good consistency. So I do not know. Maybe maybe my heat gun, something was not right. For sure, something was not right. Okay, now I'm going to go with this right there. And then I'm going to fix the ones that are not visible there. Okay, that's it. We're not going, well, maybe a little bit here. Yeah, we gotta try. We just simply gotta try. We will not know. How do you think I've tried to do the um, the crackle technique? At the beginning, I remember back in COVID, everybody was telling me, oh, you cannot do the crackle with the, with the glue. You have to have a special thing. But you know, I was stubborn. I was stubborn, I was practicing. See, and it's again, it always comes up, but today it didn't. But it's again, we're going to try. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> Okay, I did not decoupage it over here. I'm going to do it later because I do want to burn it now. But before we get there, I'm just going to cut this all off, at least a little bit, and then we're going to burn just a little bit because I may need those pieces. So I do want to make sure, and this is what happens. When you burn the napkin, you do have to make sure that all your edges are... Um, all your edges are attached to the uh, all the way around. In this project, if I am going to burn the side of my project, I would actually love it because it will bring me additional distress. So here we go, guys. We're burning the napkins now. Let's go see. Because see, I'm looking for this additional distress that we have on it. So now look, here we go. It goes all the way around. We do not need to do anything. And then look how cool of the edge we've got. Oh, here we go. One more time. <gasps> Love it. It's yellow now. You just got to embrace it. Here we go. Oh, it's just burning over here, guys, because I did not got this up. Hold on. Let me do it one more time. I think I added a little bit over here, but that's fine. Look at this. Look how stinking cool is this. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to make sure that we do have all the edges standing. And even if they burn the side of it, I am okay. But, um, you know, we just have to... Hold on. I need to put a little bit more glue over here because I don't see the glue right here. So hold on. See, I'm a messy crafter. Are you messy when you craft? I have things all over, all over my uh, fingers, my clothes, the floor, and my, my daughter. Let me tell you something. So my daughter, so my daughter got herself a new case because she, she got uh, the case to, that she had on her computer broke on the corners and it was pulling her clothes, and she, look at this. We did the sides of it. I would have to do this one right here. Hold on, let's see how we're going to do it. I guess I got to get the smaller one. So she got herself, she got herself, hold on, I'm getting a smaller paintbrush because I do not want it to, I want to put some uh, book, oh, what the heck is my smaller brushes? So she got herself, um, she got herself a new, um, a new, um, what's the name? A new computer case, um, you know, something that is going to protect her. And then as a bonus, this computer case came with uh, the keyboard, two sets of keyboards. Have you ever used the keyboards for your, uh, hello, Miss Janine. Have you ever used the keyboard for your computer? <laughs> this was new to me, guys. 
So my daughter, so all what I'm doing right now is trying to at least bring some of the napkin right there. So it looks like it's finished off, guys. Hold on. I'm just trying because this bunny has that little, ugh, look what happens. It does have the little opening right there that I have to cover. So she got me the little thing. And you know what? How happy I am. Let me just show you because I have it on this computer. Because what I do a lot of times is, how can you craft without being messy? My stuff is everywhere. Helps me. Okay, look at my hands, Miss Bobby. See, I am mess, messy as a ghost. So um, she gave me this because a lot of times you guys ask me for um, something that I need to either look at the keyboard or I need to go and... Um, and I need to go and uh, look what you were talking about. So I need to scroll. So do you think that in this case, when I am in that situation, I will turn around and go uh, wash my hands now? No, because it's going to take me so long. So I don't do it. So I simply use the keyboard and then I clean if I remember. And if I don't, well, the keyboard is not getting cleaned. So my daughter got me the keyboard. Look at this. Let me just show you. Guys, now I can show you, even though I have messy hands. Look at this. So I have, do you see it? <laughs> do you see it? I have a keyboard. Boom. Look at that. Do you see this? So she goes like, Mom, you can now touch your screen as long as you, I'm not the screen. Touch your, um, touch your um, um, keyboard as much as you want, and you're not going to mess it up. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> Hello, Miss Judy. Guys, who took my brush? Oh, no, it's right here. So I'm so happy. That I know it's so cool because it is like, um, it's like a silicone that goes right on, uh, on the top of, um, right on the top of the keyboard. So there is no gluing needed. So now if I have messy hands like this, all what I need to do is just, you, I can still touch it. Right, the cover's great. All what I need to do is just, um, what do I need to do? All what I need to do is just simply, um, what do I need to do, guys? Oh, I can take this off, wash it off, and I don't have to worry about my um, my uh, keyboard being, because uh, she said because she was using my computer, and she goes like, Mom, your, your keys are uh, 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 sticky, like sticky. In other words, she was trying to type something, and uh, there was it was not making spaces. <laughs> I don't not mind, guys. I'm not picky. I just you, you do what I have. And here we go. See, this is what's so good about having. Oops, this is what's so good about having uh, a little bits of pieces of a napkins because you can use. And I'm going to cut this. Not going to rip it, Agnes. I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to add additional piece and I may actually use again this piece for something else. You just never know. See, and you do not even know that I was using pieces over pieces to, uh, to, uh, oh, that one is the wrong side, guys. <laughs> Guys, let's hope it's not going because I'm going to be, I mean, as much as I don't, I don't really mind to experiment, but you know, you want all your projects to be semi-successful. <laughs> as of right now, we got ourselves, we got ourselves a hot mess express. Okay. Whoops. I almost spilled it. Okay. So remember we hot glued, we are mat patch this on. And now what we need to do is we need to... Make sure that all the pieces, I have a desktop computer still, it's 13 years old. I need to get a new one. See, that's, but yeah, I, I do not have, I used to have. The desktop computers are just not working for me no more uh, because I am so portable. <laughs> I just need to have computer where I go. So let's say if we travel, I can pack it with me and take it. And, uh, you know, and my work is with me. And I can reply to your comments. Here we go. Hold on, guys. We are there. We are there. Oh, look, it's going on the other side. Now we're going to do this on the other side. Guys, this may be Hot Mess Express. Let's just be positive. <clears throat> we may make it work. 
See, there is always an ugly ducklings when you start. Yeah, I'm just pretending that I know what I'm doing, and I really don't, see? Okay, so we got ourselves the bunny right there. I think it's all good for now. Yeah, we all good. I think we all good. But as I'm thinking, guys, remember I said to you that this side is really not that I, but I don't know if I, no, I don't, well, maybe, let's see. Maybe we're going to put some on the ears. Look, guys, because those ears did not come good. So maybe that's what I'm going to do. Put this one on the ear and then put it a little bit on the paws, the little pieces of it. Let's see. Just because. No. No. Let's see on this side. I do like that side better. No, guys, I don't think we need to. Where did I? I don't remember. It was, I think it was one of the craft kids that I had. Um, and um, no, I'm not going. No, I'm not going to. I may add later, but you know. You never know with me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to add the wax to it. So what I'm going to do is now, oh, before we go there, hold on. <clears throat> before we go to the wax and then before we go to add a little details, we just got to add a little bit more. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let me just iron this. Just, just, well, no, I can't do it. No, I cannot do it. I may actually only sand. I may actually only sand a little bit. The top of it. Just a bit. So it is sort of uh, on the even side. Okay, guys. So let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a little bit of my light wax not a dark one, a little bit of my white wax because my brush already has a lot of that on it. So I'm just going, no, I guess it's not enough, guys. So hold on. Things are not working with me today, guys. Hold on. Let me get this one now. I'm going to take a little bit of a dark one and I'm just going to go all around it, like right there right on the edges of my bunny just a little bit and then i'm going to add a little bit of that all around this and now let's see let's see what we're going to come up with this if there is going to be anything fun on it or no if we're going to make something fun or no see now all of a sudden Oh, I love this. All of a sudden, my, uh, my, uh, okay, let's go add this one a little bit more. I may add a little bit more, like right there. Because what I do want it to keep, I do want it to keep the middle of my bunny. Uh, I do want it to keep the middle of my bunny lighter. Then the, thank you for the stars, Miss Candy. I want to keep my bunny in the middle a little bit on the lighter side. And then keep the edges right darker. Let's see. And then if you feel like your bunny is getting too dark, what you need to do is... You need to put it in the uh, uh, in the lighter in a lighter wax, and then just distribute it as much as you can. See, and then you're just going to get all your pieces. See what happens. So, my goal was to create the bunny that it looks like it's completely vintage. Do you see that? I love this. I love this that it's got, it gets the uh, the complete vintage look. And it does have uh, does have a little bit of the of the colors into it. It looks like it is it is bleached. Let's see what we're going to do on this side. Let's go see, guys. We're going to work on it, and then we're going to light it up as, as much as we can. Let's see. So it does look like the bunny, the bunny just actually came out from, look, remember, remember those little bubbles that we did not like, 
Remember? B because the, the Mod Podge was just not coming together. Do you see what happens? Now, whatever that bubble created, look how stinking awesome. Look at that texture. Do you see the texture that we created right now? Look at this. I actually do like this bunny on this side much better. Because look at this. This is the bubble of the Mod Podge that created. This one is not bad, but this one is, I think, in my eyes a little bit better. But hey, what do I know? Now, got to get me to the white one. I got to make sure that I do have a good amount of the there. It looks like it's a messed up project. Thank you for the stars, Miss Carrie. Do you see this? So, the, do you, don't you feel like that this bunny was ripped out of the wallpaper? I so love this side. Okay, so we're not done. Let's just keep some hopes up and then see what we can possibly do. So my goal was <clears throat> to keep it within, uh, to keep it within the uh, vintage version. I wanted to add a piece of my mold that I had right to my bunny right there oh my gosh i absolutely love this side do you see this it looks like the bunny was uh ripped out of the page okay hold on let's see it does not look okay let's just figure out one thing at the time and then we're going to see what else can we do to this bunny to make it look attractive hold on <laughs> we, just, we just gotta go so now you know me i it is already uh painted white but you know i have to bring some gold to it and then we are well this gold is not working guys <laughs> why guys no it's not going to work look what happens to my gold something is up with my stuff guys let's see if it's going to work oh my gosh that means is i did not craft in a long time guys that means is i have to start crafting some more because my paint is drying it needs unticking. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a different way. So hold on. Let's put my Mod Podge right in there. I'm going to use... I am going to use my other wax. And then we're just going to um, use the this wax. This is the gilding wax that I have. And what I'm going to do is... I am going to put this on it. And then try to use the, 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 the liquid leaf... Um, and um, and try to rub and oh yeah or rub and buff yeah I do have a rub and buff too, so let's see what I'm going to be able to do with this one a little bit go in the edges, this one has it is a complete yeah actually let's see let's try both, and but I do want it to have the sparkle you know me, that when I look at this, when I no we gotta go rub and buff guys see we gotta learn this is how practicing goes. <laughs> and then let's go rub and buff and then i still want to use that gold maybe i'm going to be able to scrape it off a little bit of something oh yeah but rub and buff much better it's deeper see look at that it is much deeper and then we're going to go with uh oh my gosh look at this don't you think that it's perfect now look at that Oh my gee, guys. Let's see. Let's just see. How does I still want to put some black on it so it does not look like you know crystal clear like that. And I do want it to put the robin buff on the edges all around my bunny. Just so we can um you know we can have um some interest to it. What do you think about that? Is it not good? If we're going to put it like that. I actually have to tell you, I like this side as much as I wanted to add more. That looks so cool. Where did I get the bunny? I do not know where I got it. I used to have those as a craft kit, but I think I've seen sim similar um, on the... Uh, um, on the uh, people have, but that was a long time ago um, from Hobby Lobby. I think they do have them here and there. They have a slightly different ears than this one, but uh, but guys, look, is that not pretty? 
Yes, I'll do the edges. I do the top. Yes, that will be another one. But hold on, let me just get my um. Yeah, we have to we have to add the thing. See, and I, as I always say, is and I was not wrong. I absolutely love this. What was just happening here to my to, to what was just happening to my bunny right there. That little you know area that just simply made us pop. You know, the glue that just completely was out of so wonky that made us make it pop. Look how pretty this looks. Do you see that? I like the bunnies that kind of sitting or laying down. Yeah, I, yes, I do like the sitting down ones. I do like the smaller ones, though. I'm not a big fan of the ones that, like, you know, the Dollar Tree has, that it looks like it's the bunny, like, spread out the legs and bunny butt and all that. Look at this. This looks so vintage, guys. It literally looked like this bunny was stuck in the wall in the wall. Or was just, you know, finished a long time ago. Because when you when you touch it, it does have a little texture to it because of all these imperfections right there. I know the flows are the best, right, Miss Janine? They are the, as I always say is, see, half of you would have already dropped this project. And I'm not going to lie. I would have most likely too. <laughs> but man, look at this. This is the best side of the bunny. Look at that one. And then we may be put, I don't know. No, maybe, and I don't know. No, we'll see. We'll just one thing at a time. I'm getting too excited. Can you find the craft stores? It comes in a different shades. Candy. Oh, you can find. Oh, yeah. Miss uh, Miss Janine is a, a replying to you. Okay, let's keep on doing it. And then we need to put some dusting of. Um, look at the sides. It literally looks like it was ripped. Let's see. Do we like this side, guys? No, see, the other one is still the best. But, you know, we have to finish him on both ends. Because. You never know where this bunny is going to be at, you know. And I am glad that I'm using the uh, the paintbrush all around those edges. And I may actually add a little bit more. Love that little thing in here. I know, it's so pretty. It's just, it's a different one. It is for sure the rustic one. And it was all because I most likely was trying to do something last year, didn't finish. And I did like the way that the book pages were peeking out out of that little corner. So if you did not see it at the beginning, make sure to check. And I just wanted to try and see what can we do. And to tell you the truth, even though we do not have much of a crackle as I wanted to, it's not bad. I mean, even on this side, we do have crackle here and there here. It's not a big, big one, but hey, you know, we still have some. But I do not know. I do you think that the bow will be better for this uh for this bunny or uh um or just leave it leave it at that? Or maybe I'm going to also add some kind I don't know if I'm going to add the blink or not. Okay, let me just add now what do we think? I love this. Yeah, the, the trim piece, I tell you, these are my favorite ones. I always look for the ones. Now I found the stamps that I cannot wait to use, um, you know, for uh, the project. See what happens here is there are those areas right there where you do see the hot glue on it. I used to, now I am using the uh, the foam, um, you know, the foam, um I am using the foam um, uh, clay because it, it is more, um, it's easy to maneuver. This one, it's sort of, uh, you know, it's stiff. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if we can get it a little bit dirty. <laughs> can we get a little bit dirty? Just a little bit, guys. We just need to get it a little bit. Necklace is too big, you think? But I think it's a statement, no? You really think, guys, the necklace is too big? Let's see. Let me just get a little bit more dark on it because we do not want to be too flashy. We do not mind to be flashy. But we don't want to be too flashy. No, we got it. No, we got to be some flashy. And then I do want it to add 
and I do want it to add a little bit of a... Do you really think that this one, guys, is too big? That the necklace over here is too big for the bunny? And look, it goes perfectly through here. You really think? Miss Carrie said she loves it. I think it's a good one. Because what else can you do? I mean, I don't think... Let's hot glue it. Let's just see. I mean, we can always pop it out. And then we're going to, I'm going to be able to do more when I'm going to, sorry, hold on. Let me glue this one right there. We're hot gluing the hot glue. Hello, Miss Ra Raisa. Hello, hello. And then we're going to glue this one right there. Guys, hold on. I did not position this right. Hold on, guys. Oh, my gosh. I didn't position it right. I want to make sure that we have sort of the same kind of, uh, the same kind of, um, that I have the same kind of, um, what's the name? The height on both ends. I got to I got to sand this. Oh, here we go. Because I pulled it off. Okay, here we go. I actually do like him this way. You don't think it looks good with this? Uh, with this, I did agree, Bonnie. What happened? What Miss Bonnie said? The necklace is too wide. Really? But then, if you would have make a big bow on those, it would have been even. Uh, it was. It would have been even bigger, guys. Don't you think so? If you would have make a big bow right on it. You don't think it would have been a it would have been a big one? I like him. Which one is your favorite one? The one that has the one that has more of uh more of um hold on, let's see. The mar the, the one that has more of the book pages or the one that has less of the book pages? I gotta tell you, for the experiment, look, and we have the edges right there. No, I just got to wash my hands everywhere. And then what here I'm going to do is when we're going to finish, when we're going to know that this is what we're staying with, I am going to add, um, what am I going to do? I am going to add, um, you know, the uh, the gloss so, so the napkin is protected. So now I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm just going to add through the edges. Something is up with my brushes. Guys, I think it's... I think it was a good idea to uh, to do... No, I don't think this one is going to wash. Where's my other brush here? You really think it's too big? But you know what? You never know. I mean, I can, I can take it all off and then and see. But I think it's perfect for this kind of a bunny. Hold on, let me just make sure that we do have a nice clean edges right there so which one is your favorite more book pages more i like the one with more book pages side is your favorite this one right yeah but you see but even the imperfections right on it the imperfections right on it don't look do not look bad see i could have actually figured out that little bunny that little um it's so pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to stick a flower someplace. I don't know. I have a book pages flower. Let's see if we can antique it. No. Let's see. This one is... I have always so many book pages around, guys. <laughs> that this is crazy. No, I don't think the book page... Um, book page... Uh, but let's... I'm not going to be Agnes if I'm not going to check. I can decide which one you like better. Because I do have... Well, actually, look... Look at, oh, guys, this is actually flowers in the ears. Look at this. This one is actually not looking bad. Let me just show you. Hold on. Let me finish this rose because it's, again, I have so many leftover things that I, when I craft with you, I cut way too many. Oh, my gosh. My hands are slippery. Now, look. Somehow, hold on. Let's just, let's just glue this one. Let's just glue this one. Miss Rita said she does not have flowers in the ears. Let me glue this one because I do have different molds. And so what I was thinking is that I'm going to do the bunny bats 
with the um, bunny bat that I'm going to add either the roses or some kind of additional piece of um, of the mold that I have because I always have a lot of them. So hold on, let me let me glue this. Let me glue this and let's see what we're going to do with this. Let me glue this. See what I was thinking? Add some bunny butts to the butts? What do you think? Add some bunny butts to the butts? <laughs> or, let's see, I'll see. Or, I do have a little pieces of, uh, that would have been actually not bad either. See, I have like leftover pieces of things. Should I make the bunny butts butt? out of the book pages miss carrie said yes who else thinks that this is a good idea guys should we make this just the bunny butts or should i just add it like right there to the side cynthia why are you blurred out oh because you said bunny butt <laughs> cynthia you just being naughty, okay? So hold on, let's just see, because I'm not done. I still, I am still not satisfied with how, what is my book pages, guys? No, we don't want to use this one. We don't want to use this one. Oh, I have another one here. Hold on, I have another. I have another rose, but this one is way too big. So where do I put it? By the bat? Or should I put, I know, she put bunny butt and oh, look, everybody that says bunny butt, guys, let's just not use that word. Every, do you see it? Whoever said bunny butt, it's being, it's being, um, it's being ghosted. Uh, uh, Facebook is blocking you. You being great. <laughs> now they all say bunny butt. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so hold on. I think I have one more. Guys, I tell you. Are we going to make him fancy? Oh, guys, we may even make this fancy like that. Guys, see, I just can't craft. <laughs> what is the smallest you can make? Okay, let's see. We're going to try. We're going to try to make the smallest one I can make. Oh, where's my scissors? Who took my I had them. Oh, here. Let's go see. What I was thinking is that I... Guys, what about me decoupaging? Because look, look what happens. What about me decoupaging a little bit of this? Okay, let's, let's, should we go around it? Or I'm just really trying to be, to, should I decoupage a book? Guys, let's just try. Okay, let's just try. Can we try? What about decoupaging? What about decoupaging, um, decoupaging this book? So we bring something from the on the other side over here. Or maybe not. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I'll do it myself. <laughs> Let's do the one rose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little piece of the of the uh, page that I have, and I'm just going to create the spirals. And let's see what we can do. And because I am trying to make a small one, I am going to keep it very close. And then we're going to, oh, the bling, right? The bling is good. Guys, so which one goes the bling? Because you know what it is. The, the, the bunny has to be presentable on both ends. So one side have to have a bling, and then the other side ha will have a roses, okay? So now let's make a decision in a minute where, where things go, okay? <laughs> I tell you. I, I still do not know. Oh, I have even bigger one, guys. This is the... Oh, my gosh, guys. Which one? And I have another one here. No, I have a cross here. No, I still did not. No, this is the bling that I supposed to use the... Uh, this is the bling that I supposed to use the... Uh, so, let's see. Let's make that one rose. I'm going to quickly roll it up. And then we're going to decide... I know the blink is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so let me, that's a tiny rose. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I bet if my hands would have been, uh, okay, hold on, let me just do this one. 
You know how to make that rose, right? Will the bunny stand by itself? Yes, it does. It really does stand by itself. Let me just show you. Yeah, now it's not going to be laying flat. I, to tell you the truth, you are the ones that uh, brought up this idea of having, um, of, of having things glued in. I usually like to, okay guys, so now I'm, I'm really puzzled. So one is going to have a bunny butt, two small roses and one big one, right? Like this, you said bunny, no, don't say butt, say bunny bee, say bunny bee. Will this, yeah, the stand, it's standing, look, see? It is standing. So one is going to have bunny bee. <laughs> bunny bee. Don't say bat. Please don't. Because I don't want you. Smaller is the best. Will the, will the bunny. Just one. You think one. But one is lonely. Hello, Miss Far Farade, Farada. But one is lonely. Do you really think one is good? I feel like one is too lonely. Smaller is the bet, Miss Janine says. Guys, come on, help me over here. What do we do? One, this is the tiny one I made, but that looks like two. I, two. Okay, two. But then it looks like two is, well, You. I guess I need to make a third one, but the small ones, all three. Miss Angie says three, all three, but maybe I should make a smaller one. So then one side will have this and the other one have bling. Which which should I which one should have the book pages and which one I think this one is more appropriate for the book pages since there is a lot of book pages right there. Right? So let me make a small one. Now this one is way too big. <laughs> This one is way too big. Three small ones. I so agree. Okay, let me find another book page. <laughs> Three small ones. So I'm cutting this in a half and we're going to make another one. So this one is not going, this side is going to have a book pages B, right? This one is going to have a book pages B. And then the other one is going to have, uh, and the other one is going to have the the blink. Is that how we're doing it? Blink for t for tail. Bring for tail. Okay, let's try that one. Hold on, let me make that one rose. So I just, you know, again, you know me. You always, everywhere, you know, you look, people are making those book pages here in United States out of the circle. I make those roses out of any scrap of the paper I have. If it's a rectangle, it's rectangle. I just, I just cut it. So usually when I make a smaller ones, you notice that I cut it the edges Blink for the tail. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. You really think the blink for the tail? No. Too large take away from bunny. That's true. That's true. But a lot of times is is about um what is it a lot of times is about the uh, uh the details. Yes, yeah, see Miss Sarita said no 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 blink on a bunny bee. <laughs> Okay, I I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe if I have appropriate one. That one does not seem like it's appropriate. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually install them onto something that it's going to have a little bit moss on it. And then the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to create the vignette. I want to do eggs with you. The paper eggs. No bling on the bunny bee. <laughs> oh, I love you, Miss Cindy. See, you cannot say it. So now... You said the bunny bee on one side is going to have three small roses. I put the big one away. So I'm going to put on the book pages side the roses or on the, the other side the roses. Guys. On the other side or on this one? On the bottom looks great. But on the book side page or on a clear side page? Where do I do it? Because we do not have... Uh oh, this one is falling apart, guys. This one was not glued enough. So which which side we're going to do? That's too many now. <laughs> we 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 said thank you for the press of uh, uh, stars. Uh, look, it's too many. Now we're going to do on one, and I'm going to put them closer so they don't look like they separated. I just can't put them closer now because they're pushing each other away. Book side. 
they said bauxite okay we do the bauxite okay guys we're putting the bunny bats oh i mean bunny bees on the bauxite okay hold on so i'm going to get another one right there remember if i do not like it or we do not like it all what i need to do is use the use the glue use the heat gun and simply remove all of it away from it and then all those roses will pop but I gotta tell you, it looks super stinking cute. Look at this. Do you see the bunny bee with the so stinking cute? I love it. And I may actually bring some moss to it. I don't know. No, we'll see. And then on this side, you told me that I should use on this side. I should use the blink. Right now, I gotta. Now I got to put him on a side because he's, <laughs> he, okay, let me put him this way because I don't want to destroy my roses. Where's my, where's my bling, the white one? Who took my bling, guys? I just had all right here. Because I think when this one is lighting up, I absolutely love the bubbles we created there. I absolutely love the little gray that picks up. So where do I put it? Right at the end? I think in the middle, like this, blink in the same side, on the same side. You think I should do blink on both sides? Because this one is neglected, guys. Middle, they said middle. Okay, let's do this one. And then you said I should do another blink on the other side. Oh, guys, guys, this is going to be one fancy bunny. See, I tell you, when it comes to uh, doing things, it is all in the details. Do you see how that's all for this side? Yeah, that's it, Miss Janine. I really think that this one is perfect. And then this one, uh-oh, the blink didn't glue itself. <laughs> because Agnes has no patience, guys. Did you know that? That I have no patience. Um and wait until the hot glue what is the color what is the color the color is the leftover pieces of my molds i'm going to post later the link of those these are the leftover pieces of my molds that i had this is a trim i'm going to for sure post it but just be honest with me were you scared when we were making it i actually feel like we really did a good job so now here what i'm going to do is i am going to use I am going to use the hot, um, I am going to use the, uh, um, I am going to use the matte patch. Well, actually, let's do it now as we are at it. We're going to use the matte patch and we're going to secure it with the, with the, uh, um, but just be honest. Were you scared when I was making this project as me that something is not going to work? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was scared especially when the glue started to pile up on me like this i was like oh my gosh what's going to happen guys so all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the mud patch to it oh my god oh no i did this here and then i am going to seal my napkin so it goes nowhere and i may actually end up adding um i may actually end up adding um some pearls i don't have them here but let's see i have some here okay so hold on if we're going to add um were you scared <laughs> when i was making this i was i may actually add some pearls right to his butt somehow hold on let's see let's see let's see guys i'm just going to cut the little pieces <laughs> why not right hold on let me just do this one right there and i'm going to cut another one like right there yes i'm going to add this like that right there the napkin looks good on both will all napkin looks good will all the side yes i am going to yes i did it on all around the edges i'm going to see if i do have the bunnies more of those in my boxes I am going to for sure um, share them with with you. If I do have them, I may have it. This one was just one of the first one that I pulled out. Oh, I like this one, but maybe shorter, guys. This is way too long. So hold on, this one is way too long. Cause like I feel, I feel that we neglected this side of a bunny, guys. <laughs> Cause he does not have a blink. 
So we got to add some oomph to it. Hold on. We're going to add some. And I think it's the little pearls. Look, the little pearls looks good. What do we think? Do you see it? I have to watch the frame. I know it came out so cute. I was scared, not going to lie. I was scared, but hey, I may actually, because this one has a hook. No, but then I'm going to hide the whole thing. I'm going to hide the whole thing. Um, I'm going to hide the whole bling over here. No, I think it's good. What did the napkin look like? Um, this was one of the, this one is a, this one, the napkin is only on the, uh, on the edges right here. Uh, the, this one is all book pages. So we just simply make a scrappy bunny. I may actually bring some sari silk and just simply attach to the side of it, just so it, it has a little bit more of a, you know, of the little flare. But I do not see the sari silk here. So I'm not going to be looking now and I don't want to hold you, but I will for sure. So you still, do you know which side is your favorite? The one with the book? book pages bees or the one that has nothing it just only has the um that actually came out super cute i am so pleased with this hold on let me hold my toys let me hide my toys super cute see oh my gosh guys time to examine all my toys because my toys are just being dry of everything you love both sides Okay, I'll make the pictures of both sides. I do love them. Actually, I it's very hard. This one is super subtle. This one is like, don't touch me. Thank you for the stars, Miss Carrie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, girls, tomorrow I'll sit in the front of you and then we're going to do, uh, we're going to make the egg. So if you do have any eggs, I'm going to sit down on a chair and craft with you. So if you do have some eggs, and um or um you know the plastic eggs or any kind of small eggs we're going to make a vignette by him to have fun so he does not look like he is missing on on friends but blink is your favorite <laughs> okay i'll be posting the picture so you can see it a little bit closer but again thank you for watching thank you for i know i lost a lot of people because when they saw me making one they were like what the heck is wrong with me uh, Miss uh, Candy, most likely it's going to be, I would say around six o'clock in the in the evening. I don't think in the morning. Oh, you're so sweet, Miss Carrie. Yeah, so I will most likely six six um, uh, later on tomorrow. So we're going to be making eggs. So I'm going to bring the book pages and I'm going to bring all this stuff so it we have a similar vignette. Okay, girls, thanks for staying with me. Bye. <laughs>